Hello! Hi! Hello. Hi. Hello. And welcome. Hi, Dan. Hi, Chris. Welcome to episode 151 of the Gamer Podcast. Oh, it's, it's, a lo- it's a lot more uh, <coughs> mild than it's the a, last episode. Yeah, it is a lot more mild than the last one. Um, it is a palindrome. <coughs> it's the same back. Ooh, I love palindromes. My Actually, high school, my, the name of my high school is Palindrome. It, you went to Palindrome High School? Is that where I, you went to? Well, that was the name of our um, our uh, yearbook was called The Palindrome. The Palindrome. Nice. Yeah. Gotta love it. Um, but this is a bi-weekly video game podcast. Did you know that? Uh, where we sip delicious bevs, discuss games, and we try and stay well above sea level pretty much all the time. I, I, well, well, Most eh. of the time, <laughs> we try and stay within a reasonable distance of above sea level. Um, okay, okay, okay. Most of the time. I'm Dan. I'm Chris. And on this episode of the game... And I'm pretty close to sea level, honestly. You're pretty close to the sea level already, but you're still above it. Um, <laughs> on this episode of the Gamer Podcast, we ask the question, is bigger always better? Uh, but first... <laughs> it's not the size uh, of the... Allison, not, Allison would have had something here. Yes. Um, <laughs> she been... Yes. <laughs> hold on, and then wait. We would have... No, she would have said... Uh, oh, uh, ooh, do you on. have that? Hold on, wait. Yeah. Uh, she would have said, "I'm spicy and served hot." There we yep, go. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Excellent. It's the perfect thing. <laughs> perfect thing to do. Um, but first, it is it is a Bevs and video games podcast, so we're going to take a look at what we're sipping on this week. Uh, I'm going to go first because I'm sipping. Good. I didn't want to go first on a little sip. A little sip. A little sip from Lost bet, Finest Liquor. You know who can't have that is Little Scoops, and I bet little he's scoops. real mad. Little Scoops can't drink little sips. Don't tell me what to do. I can do whatever the hell I want. You can just drink the the sips, but with like the two S's in the front. No, I'm drinking this whole thing right now. Here we go. <laughs> little Scoops loves alcohol. <laughs> and that's how we get Child Protective Services called on Dan. Listen, Lil, and yet Lil's, has no children. <laughs> little scoops, uh, little scoops is. Listen, sometimes you gotta, you gotta get him. He's kind of a big scoop sometimes. He's, he's definitely a big scoop sometimes. So you really gotta, <laughs> gotta knock him out. Um, it's great. It's an IPA. It's like a really good summer beer. It's a nice big can. <clears throat> is it a? Is it like a, um, session IPA or? Just a um, normal ass IPA. It's not just a, just a regular <laughs> ass IPA, dude. Um, it's the it's the cousin of Sip of Sunshine IPA. Has a juicy fruit forward character layered with tropical hop flavors and bright floral aromas. Notes of grapefruit and pineapple complement this delectably balanced beer. It's six point two percent alcohol by volume. There you go. Chuggability. Uh, super high, like an average. Yeah. Like it's like if I'm in a good mood, it's pretty a good chuggable. three. Good three out of five. Yeah, I could I could chug it. I could chug it if I wanted to. You could chug if you want to. I could leave my friends behind because my friends don't chug, and if they don't chug when they're no friends, <laughs> no of friends mine. of mine. <laughs> from that, from that, Great. from that hit song. You can yeah. chug if you want to. <laughs> you can chug. You can chug if you want to. You can leave your friends behind because if your friends don't chug, and if they don't chug, where they no friends of mine. Yeah, completely different song. We can we're chug. Good we're good on the copyrights. <laughs> we are. Everybody look at your hands. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody look at your cans. <laughs> yeah. No, wait a minute. <laughs> well, Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold a minute. Uh, but yeah, no. T- high chugability. I put yeah. it at about a... Where, where, what brewery what's is up, it? Gray? Uh, Lawson's Finest Liquids. <laughs> That's an awesome brewery name. That's It's the best brewery. They <laughs> are located in... It's a fam- it's, yeah, it's a family-owned, award-winning brewery, taproom, and retail store location in Wa- Waitsfield, Vermont. Middle of nowhere, Vermont. Got it. What's up, Gray? What's up? Bah, 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 bah. Howard Dean's for, for Gray. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's three Dean's. Three Deans. Oh, that's why they call him Three Dean Gray. Three Dean Gray. Yeah. 
Well, I'm a peanut bar, and I'm here to say your checks will be arriving on another day. Another day, another dime, another dime, another dollar. Another stuffed shirt with another white collar. <laughs> Sorry. That's the uh, community. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, the song. Chris, did you listen to the song? What song? Oh, no. Hold on. What, what song are you referencing? Hold on. Let me uh, Let me just download this real quick. While you're doing that. Yeah, what have you um, been drinking, Chris? I am drinking RAR Nanny Coke Nectar. Uh-huh. Um, it's from Cambridge, Maryland. It's got this cool... So you've heard of Nessie, right? Yep. Well, this is Chessie, the Chesapeake Bay water horse. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so Nanny Coke Nectar is their kind of like flagship beer. I remember going to a um, beer festival like probably 10 years ago. They were there. They didn't even actually have a brewery. They were just doing it in their basement, and they had this beer there. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that, like, that become like a a pretty big uh, name in in Maryland beer um, that's, from that's, such such small beginnings. That's very cool. Can you um can you show me the show me the beer again? Yeah. What's so there's the, the little little Chessy. Oh, nice. Love it. Um, it's a uh, rar, 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 rar. Not the best. So. The opposite of your brewery, terrible, terrible brewery name. It's uh, <laughs> stands for Real Ale Revival. That's hard to say. Real, yeah, it's dumb. Re, uh, re, real, real. I it's my brain hurts. Real yeah, it's, Ale it's, uh, Revival. Yeah, so it's just it's just R E R. Uh, <laughs> so Rawr. I don't know. It's also a palindrome. <gasps> nice. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow. There we go. Uh, um, yeah. Um, when did it become become a shock jock? Like, always, it's always been the Dan and Chris show has always been this. That's way, Chris. that is true. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, um, um, gotta love it. Hey, but yeah, so it's a it's a it's a really good IPA. Uh, very drinkable. Yeah, similarly really drink, drinkable. Um, as yours, it's a seven point four percent. Okay. I think it's pretty chuggable, pretty clean on the uh, the finish, but lots of flavor. It's good. I think. I think summertime is really where it's like I just want an IPA, just like a just give me a regular IPA. I don't want like a don't give me something crazy. Don't yeah, like any... too many hops is it makes you thirsty. Yeah, but I don't, like yeah. it can't be too sweet. It can't be too hoppy. It can't be yeah right because and and this this might be a controversial opinion, but I really don't like sweet drinks out like when i'm out like doing barbecue time you know hmm like white claws things like that i don't know it's a little weird it's a little weird well you know that there are no laws when you're drinking claws right there is no laws when you're drinking claws i understand right right right. um but i do want to play this real quick oh uh so what was the chug ability chris hold on before you um i'll give it a 3.5 all right, that's fine. That's fine. Out of what? Three, love that. Three point five. Out, out of out of five. Out of five. Okay. All right. Halfway. But do you remember it's a chug ability scale? So, is it very kind of how chuggable? It's, it's pretty chuggable. Pretty. So it's pretty on the scale of chug ability. Yes, pretty. It's pretty, pretty chuggable. All right. So, uh, Gray, uh, Gray made this for us. Ah um, uh, yes! Oh no! This song yes. Of this course. the EDM. Uh, yes. The, here, here we go. This is a this is a, a gray man original. I'm spicy. Served hot. I'm spicy and served hot. Spicy. Hot. Just gonna dance like this. It's like the Mario he got. Spicy. Hot. Ooh. Served hot. <laughs> like that off, offbeat hi hat. I like spicy. It. I'm spicy and served hot. <laughs> I don't have any glow sticks. Oh, I have these. <laughs> it's like a little wiggly worm. Yeah, Katie has one of those. <laughs> I'm spicy and so.
served hot. That's it. Bam. That's spicy EDM uh, <laughs> by Gray Man. World I'm ready for, for for spicy emo and then spicy uh, <laughs> just every every genre. Every genre. Let's spicy see how drum many and bass. We can. <laughs> <laughs> spicy but, jazz. Uh, That's a. Ooh, it's a different version of acid jazz. <laughs> <laughs> what would spicy jazz be like? It'd be like uh, uh, it'd be like regular jazz, but you just throw some. Uh, Imagine Miles Davis after he ate Thai food. I was thinking more of like just to, <laughs> just like put some mariachi inspired music in there too. That could do mm. it. Get kind of that, you know, Mexican spicy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, um, but that's excuse me. I'm so sorry. This is the this is a podcast where we drink beer. So sometimes, sometimes stuff happens. Just, uh, things inside my body they happen. Um. But this is a this is a beer and video games podcast. So thank you, Gray, for that. But uh, now we're on to um, the video games part of it. Um, what's uh, what's what's being what's there? What's, what's cracking? What's crack a lacking with that? What's cracking with the uh, with the old video games? So yeah. I've been uh, playing a lot more Diablo Four, um, level sixty six. So I'm getting not. up there. I need I need yeah. I need some I need you to play with me. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll play that today, and then, Sounds, then you could just if it's, if it's working. They got DDoS. <laughs> and they did get DDoS. I did see that. <laughs> it was working earlier whenever I went on. So okay. I think whenever I opened it up, but yeah. Um, but then I, I've also been playing this game called uh, Battle Bit Remastered. Um, mm-hmm. Imagine uh, if there was a battlefield mode in Roblox. And that's and that's what it is. And that is what this is. But it's like incredibly well executed. Like so many guns, so many attachments for the guns. You can get like different armor and different helmets mm. and different backpacks and do they actually uh, do things or are they or are they just cosmetic? Nope, they actually do things. Oh. Um, there's there's full fledged bullet drop. Um, wow. the, like so it's like it's like a a shooter sim with terrible graphics. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I mean, I honestly, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I I imagine that as soon as you start taking away, like the graphics part of it, everything else gets so much easier to do. Yeah, yeah. So they like they. I mean, like the graphics are fine. They're not, like they're acceptable. Like it's really just that they executed the core game mechanics super well. Right, and. Oh, and then it's also 127 versus 127. So huge Uh, battles. uh, Absolutely monstrous battles. So big. Um, Yeah. Uh, Fully destructible. um, So you can take down anything. Uh, It's not like the fake fully destructible that uh, Battlefield used to do. Yeah. It was like some things are destructible, but like you can't actually knock this this building down. You can actually knock like every building down. Oh. Um,. Yeah, it's uh, oh, and it has like the uh, the thing where if you're close to someone, you can hear them talking. Like if they're on the other team, uh, mm-hmm. you can hear like like if they <laughs> oh, if, like... <laughs> it has prox chat. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> I mean, so you no, have but that... chat and prox chat, which, so mean, it can it can lead to some really silly things. I was gonna say that sounds about right for that for that kind of game where it's like yeah, yeah that would be it um, because that would be funny just to have people being close to you. Just being yep. able to hear them. them ah, oh no, my face. Yeah, we were playing. I was my playing life. last night and we heard a guy's like blasting system of a down while he was playing. <laughs> <laughs> said, Why have you forsaken me? Uh, yeah. That's great. Oh man. I do love pro- I do love proximity chat sometimes. Unless I'm like trying to chill out sometimes. I don't really. Yeah. I don't really like it but you're enjoying your time with it i know you always you love the battlefield games oh you... yeah i've always loved battlefield a little bit more i think than like call of duty um mm-hmm. just because you have a little bit more freedom um it's a little less like you round a corner and die you have to like run a little bit before you round a corner and die <laughs> right yeah you die from a different way from further away or you get sniped from across the map that's true which is that, also that like I I enjoy doing that to people. Like I love counter sniping. Um, <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> anything uh, Anything else of note 
Uh, um, oh, I, uh, so a buddy of mine, I, I was, uh, it's a, a guy, a friend of mine named Will, who's in, lives in Ohio. Me and him met playing uh, WoW yep. back about 10 some years ago. Yes. He came uh, into town. We're, uh, we're doing a D&D campaign. So one of the things we did while he was in town was we all had got our like D&D minis. And since I'm DMing, I don't have one, but we, I saw this guy there. It's, he's a, he's a little, little dwarf that um, is like the sausage maker. He's got this big oh. knife and, <laughs> and an apron and stuff. It's kind of hard to see, but I love that. Eh, eh, it's fine. I could see it. Yeah. I could see it. You could. Um, so, it. so um, yeah, gr- <laughs> uh, I named him Grug, not meat grinder. Nice. So he's, he's, he's like their new favorite character. That's very cool. <laughs> That's very nice. I love, I love Mitch. I still have to do some painting of stuff. Um, yeah. But the uh, but that's great. I think I saw you guys uh, doing some D and D stuff in your little Discord uh, yes. group. Yes. Um, because I saw you rolled some dice, and then I saw your little game brew coaster. Um, yep. Your Chris game brew coaster, and I was like, oh, oh, it's Chris. He's um, seeing, He's doing both the D and the D. The D and the D. There's dun. There's both dungeons and dragons in there. Um. So my uh. I've been playing some things. I played some things today. Yeah. I I won the fiance game. Uh, oh, day. that's right. Because congratulations, I, you know, you know this. I mean, I know, but I'm just like stop pretending. I'm telling you for the first time. Uh, no, <laughs> for for comedic effect. How dare you, sir? How dare? How I? dare you? No! Um, but the, um, <laughs> thank you for not doing the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't play the whole thing. I figured out how to stop it. Uh, but the uh, but I proposed to Hannah, and she said yes. So we're gonna get married eventually. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's great. That's Everything congratulations, great. man. So that's a, it's huge, I, it's huge. And I surprised her. So boy, I don't have to like. Uh, Bear Rev meat grinder absolutely slaps. <laughs> that's what Bear Rev says. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, but I don't have to keep any secrets anymore, which is great because like for a month and a half I was. Basically... So you, you told her about it, about it. What do you What do you mean? You know the thing. What do you mean? Like with us. You and me. Yeah, us. No. Oh, you didn't tell her that. So you are keeping no. some secrets. No, but that one's easier to keep. <laughs> I've been keeping that one for years. Um, but the uh, <laughs> but no, but now I'm like there's so much less weight on my shoulders. Bear Rev is Will, uh, thanks, by the way. Greg. Yeah, no, I figured. I figured it was. I just didn't think it was just like a random guy who's just like, Meat Grinder, that's a sick name. Meat Grinder, that's great. Um, oh, you, you, think, you think it's not a sick name? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, anyway. I came up uh, with it and was real proud. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just, uh, since now I have less stress on my shoulders, I've been digging into Breath of the, or, uh, Tears of the Kingdom a little bit more, um, which is great. It's just so, there's so much to do. I'm like, it's one of those open world games where I'm just like, this really is open. I could do, I could go anywhere and do anything right now. So I'm like trying to figure out what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. Like I did two of the things. I found two sages, and then now I'm like, I kind of want to find Terry Town. So I'm trying to do that now. And then I went back to the place where the guy who builds stuff was before, and now it's like a fashion town. And I'm like, what the heck's going on here? And so that's a whole thing. And there's all these side stories. So I'm like getting distracted. I keep getting the, from the main the The, story. the ADD, uh, yeah. the RPG ADD is like getting to you. Yeah, but it's great. I mean, I, it really is. I, I beat, uh, I did save the Deku tree. Um, again? For the, uh, yeah, again, in this game, I did though. Okay. The great Deku tree. I mean, we you do it over and over again. That's how, that's how Zelda works, you know? It's just a deco tree in distress. There's a deco tree in distress. <laughs> uh, 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 you could say there's a D in D. Yes. That's just as you could. I need to get... Where's the... Hold on. Where is it? No. I can't find it. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, let me just say, Let me say this again. I guess you could say there's some D in D. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I was going <laughs> to. Let me just move that. I'm going to move that. Oop, can't do it. Where's my soundboard? Oh, no. Struggling, huh? 
There's so uh, it's like there we go. Oh, nice here's here's Duplicate. one more thing that I want to talk about. Real yes. Quick. So, <clears throat> growing up, I played uh, and I didn't play actually. I I bought or and by me I I mean my parents bought me wow a ton of Star Wars cards. Some yeah, a Star Wars CCG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, did you play that? No, because but there's like CCGs for everything, so I'm not surprised. Okay, so I went on eBay and got the introductory two-player game from the 90s, still in packaging. It was only 30 bucks, which was pretty awesome. Oh, that's nice. That, so means, it's not a go... that means it's not like a super hard to find. So item. some some of the cards are. Some of them are because it's a CCG. But, so, but yeah, like there's apparently a bunch of these boxes still left around. That's that's very cool. So I'm gonna finally learn to actually play this fucking game. Nice. Which Ooh, is kind of awesome. That's really cool. That reminds me of something. <laughs> Give, I'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, so it um this has two decks. There's one for, for light side, one for dark side. I think it comes with a Darth Vader. Um comes with an extra pack, but I'm really I don't know, it's gonna be cool. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Wonder what Dan's gonna bring back. Ooh, ooh, is it the Lord of the Rings? Is that the Lord of the Rings one? So this is the Lord of the Rings, uh, Worlds Beyond, Magic: The Gathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Did you get the One Ring? No, no one's found that yet. Um, yeah. You can. So only- for for everyone else, there's um there's a very special One Ring card. There's literally only one of them, and I I don't know if it's just like going to be mega valuable or if it's going to like they give you a prize for it i'm not sure well but there's only one of them they're not giving you a prize for it but it is going to be valuable because it's, anytime because there's only one collector's yeah. item stuff so oh excuse me i mean i the steps um but we got like the starter pack um is it um is it commander only or it doesn't have normal like is it normal no you could it's normal it and it's standard these are these are they're like standard cards, uh, so you well, can use. So the the forty k cards that came out, they were ju- they just came out with four commander sets. They do have commander sets that you can get, um, uh-huh. but they're also just you can use them in standard play. Um, so it has an interesting effect. There's um, so I played a little bit on arena on arena um, with them, and they have the the one ring. Um, well, first off, here's a signed art card of Theoden King. Oh, that's cool. That's very, it's very cool. Oh, that was, that's a choice. Well, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, and then this is, uh, Aragorn and as King of Gondor. Interesting. Yeah. So, okay. Are, um, are they all, uh, uh, black? Um, or is it just the humans that are black? Well, I think I, I think the uh, I think the a lot of the humans are. I have to go through and look at most that's, of the because that's yeah, that's interesting. The, it makes sense like, to me. I think that's kind of. I need to go through and read the Lord of the Rings again because I'm pretty sure that he describes them as being like as having a darker darker complexion. skin. Yeah, like yeah. a darker complexion, but I don't remember. Interesting. So. Like like the Numenorians or just all humans in general? Or I just think all humans, you know, mm, that, and that okay. makes sense to me, you know. But yeah. It's I'd red. I'd uh I mean this this could be my closed mindedness I guess but I'd never I've never thought of that. Well, that's because we um, only we only ever like see it, it. yeah right and like we don't we'd only ever like seen them like when we grew up we saw the, the movies and that obviously yeah a bunch of white folks but um, <laughs> I do I do think they are very cool. There are some really cool things like the ring. No, that's super cool. Um, there's ring components. Whenever you are tempted by the ring, it starts off with um you select one of your creatures to be the ring bearer Um, okay the first time they're tempted the ring bearer is legendary and can't be blocked by creatures with greater power um then the second time whenever the ring bearer attacks draw a card then discard a card uh third time whenever a ring bearer becomes blocked by a creature that creature's controller sacrifices it at the end of combat and then the last one is whenever your ring bearer deals combat damage to a player each opponent loses three life Okay, so you, it's better to be tempted by it. It is. That seems counterintuitive. But you can only have one ring 
at so a that's, time. that that kind of sounds like in the did you ever play any of the D and D set? Yes, yeah. It kind of sounds like some of the dungeon mechanics. Yeah, Close yeah, it, yeah. It's pretty much that where it gives you, it kind of gives you like a way to do it, but it's like you can k- just kill that. Someone could just kill that character and then they're gone. Um, but like, there's also this very interesting thing where all of the art car- like some of the cards are made in a way where they line up next to each other. Oh, that's cool. So like. Here, hold on, let me see, see if I can hold these up the right way. Yeah, I haven't I haven't bought any of them because um, other people in my like the group that plays D and or um, Magic with me, that's ah, pretty cool. So it's like they line up to make a yeah like to a make an image panorama. Um, that's, so yeah, I haven't bought any because like other people since I bought the forty k stuff, they're mm-hmm. buying the, the Lord of the Rings stuff. It's it would be it would be cool to do a um. This would be a cool thing to do a uh, what's it called, um, a draft, a draft with, because yeah. there are so many different types of like cards to use, and the art cards are really cool, and just like all the art in general is really awesome, and I love Lord of the Rings, and since I also since we got the uh... oh, did you de- finish Rivendell? No, not yet. <laughs> okay, I propose this week. Give me, I got it's it's Listen, all man. The- and then here's this is the twenty sided die. Oh, that's that pretty you cool. You got in the little thing, and then the d the twenty on it is it's the is one it ring. the ring? It's the one ring. That's pretty cool. Um, so but I'll explain a little bit about the one ring stuff. So right now, the only way you can get the one of one one ring is to get like the special collectors packs. Um, so not just like the standard, it won't come in the standard ones. Like you Hmm. can get like the standard set boosters, um, and you'll get cards, but the one ring, that one of one ring that's in Elvish, you won't be able to get that one. That's foil and like fancy. That's pretty cool. It's only in the collector's packs. So right now, sets of those boot, like those collector's boosters are going for f- upwards of five hundred dollars for Christ. a box of them. So yeah, and like even uh, just like the regular um, draft boxes are one eighty, which is like sixty to eighty dollars more than a standard box is normally. Mm-hmm. Yep, crazy. That's collector stuff for you. We went to um we started we got into this weird hole of watching um like it's something like golden golden auctions or something like that. Okay. Where it's like it's a it's a Netflix series where they're it's like this auction house where they only do super high value stuff. Is um, it like is it like or worse than uh pawn stars? It's no, it's it's different because it's like the high value, like really high value stuff, uh, okay. and they do okay. auction stuff. So it's like like they were doing trying to get a um, Jackie Robinson jersey to oh. auction off. Um, nice, but it's like we started looking at that, and it's like wild, like with cards specifically, like collectors cards. Just there is some stuff out there that's so expensive, like that's like mm-hmm. people are looking for and is worth so much money. Like Black Lotus, yeah. Well, kind of, but you can't hunt for that anymore. Like that's kind of like true. Every I think everybody knows where all of those are. So, yeah, it's four aren't seven. all accounted for the lost Black Lotuses? <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Cool, yeah. that's awesome. But yeah, but I got those because I love Lord of the Rings, and we love Lord Same. of the Rings, and we just wanted to see all the different cards and stuff before so. had had she seen lord of the rings before you, you guys started seeing each other no or was that one of the ones that you had to no that was one of the ones show i her. showed her um but it was one of the ones that she really liked and also uh-huh. we watched the extended versions the first Lord. version of the movies that she saw was the extended versions that's so awesome. that's like the only lord of the rings that she knows that's so, so cool. all of the aragorn singing we've also discussed um the <laughs> we were like what if we did like a lord of the rings wedding um and, yes. and and i was like and i was like oh 
but we could flip flop it so I like dress like Arwen and you can come down the aisle by dressing like Aragorn and pushing open the doors and be soaking wet and like look really cool. Like whenever he de- whenever he opens the door, the doors when he's like to Ugh! Helm's Deep to Helm's Deep and he yeah. like just it looks the coolest he's ever been. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then I shall die as one of them. Uh, <laughs> can I can I? <laughs> I'll, I'll just pretend to be hobbit sized and be on my knees the entire time. Yeah, you get yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you'll and then you'll come to me and be like, "You you bow to no one." <laughs> no, my friends, you bow to no one. And then I sing a really cool song. Um, man, there's like there's something about those movies, like talking about like skewed skewed. Dan, like, yeah, yeah. I do want to remind you. This is a video game podcast. Yeah. This is a video game podcast. <laughs> I know. But there's just like just one thing. There's like there's so much in like those books and those movies. There's so much like bro love, like where they're just like they just love each other so much in that fellowship, you know? Mm-hmm. And Did you know that there's only like one scene where two women talk to each other in that whole movie? Oh, I hope it's not about a guy because then it fa- fails the nope, Bechdel it's, test. Uh, it's uh, it's it's it's. The daughter of the person in Rohan. No, it's the daughter. No, it's the daughter of the person in Rohan when she tells her son to make haste to, and and oh, the the, yeah. da- the daughter's like, oh, the horse is too big for him, mommy. Oh, really? Um, that's the only yeah, time. That's I the only s- time. No, there's <laughs> gotta be more. Nope. Probably not. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. Hi, Arwen. Never confronts. Uh, confronts. Uh, um, Arwen never confronts a. F- you just said her name, Galadriel. No, Ar- Arwen never confronts about uh, what's her name being Eowyn? a hussy about Eowyn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Eowyn's just like, ah, oh, I guess, uh, ooh, but you know. Anyway, sorry, Lord of the Rings. Remember the Lord of the Rings, the the uh, the video game, the like hack and slash one. The two ooh, which one? The two towers or, or Return of the King? It was both. Well, Two Towers was the first one that was really good. I sure, don't know if Return yeah. of the King was great or not, but uh, it was. It was great. Um, anyway, video games. Uh, video games. <laughs> but I did do. Okay, go back to the games I was supposed to be talking about. Um, the so this week is the has been the Steam Next Fest. Um, I don't know if you paid attention to that at all, Chris. Uh, not, not really. Only really just paid attention to Battle Bit Remastered. Okay. Um well so for Next Fest basically what Steam did is they just uh they had like free d- demos for games that will be coming out um uh-huh. some like they have a bunch of developer live streams um you can like wish list ones that you think are your favorite you could play a bunch I played um a uh I played the demo for this one called Lies of P Uh-huh have you seen this at all I'm looking kind of at it like right now. It's a souls like. Mhm. Um and I was just like, "Hmm, I wonder what this is about." It's a Pinocchio. It's like a dystopian Pinocchio-esque dystopio. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. It's like it's it's like we, because like first I was just like, "Oh, it's like interesting because you do look everything looks like vaguely Italian." And then it's like, are they talking about? It's like, oh, Geppetto needs you. And it's like, what? And it's like, there's blue, there's like blue butterflies. I'm like, wait, is this bitch the blue fairy? And then, <laughs> and then, um, and and um, you have like a a little lamp at your at your belt, uh, that you call um, Gemini, not okay, not Gemini, it's like Gemini, like Gemini, like Gemini, Gemini, but instead it's pronounced Gemini. Interesting. Um, uh and it's like it's like a cricket so <laughs> very interesting. it's very interesting it's it's interesting um and then there's like a lying mechanic that i haven't really gotten into yet but the uh does your nose get bigger i don't think <laughs> i haven't seen it get bigger or not um hmm. but um what i've played so far you know it looks pretty interesting there's like it has the souls like aspect of it where there's like blocking and countering. Yeah. Um, it has an interesting thing where you have to sharpen your weapon. Mm-hmm. Like that's kind of your, um, instead of things having a, 
like n- in Breath of the Wild, like things break instead of this, like your weapon can break if you keep using it over and over again without sharpening it. Um, okay. But you, but it doesn't cost you anything to sharpen stuff. It just, you just takes need to a remember while. to do it. Yeah, you need to remember to do it, and also it could if you're like doing a particularly long like boss fight or something. You need to. Yeah, uh, you have to do it. Like find a time to to do it. So in addition to like having to heal, like find your time to heal yourself, you also have to make sure that your weapons sharp. Make sure everything's interesting, going the right way. That's but, cool. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. Um, I can't say. I can't say that it's something where I'm like, oh boy, this is amazing so far. Um, but it does look like there are skill trees and stuff like that that you can do as well. It's not like uh, Dark Souls where you can customize your person. It's like your your your. Oh, uh, you don't you you don't get any. Uh, nah, your Pinocchio. Can't, you can't. You, I mean, it sounds like you can wear different stuff though to do. Yeah, like, you can. You your can, fashion souls. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. So, yeah, and then Geppetto's there. Hanging out. Yeah, he's he he made you, but it's it's a it's very interesting, you know. Yeah, it sounds interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing the demo for a little bit. I maybe. will watch its career with great interest. But there's also a bunch of stuff on there, like House Flipper Two is on there. Yeah, there's um, a couple things that are like, um, uh, like there's this one called uh, uh, where'd it go? Uh, Aztecs: The Last Sun, which looks like it's like a city builder mm-hmm. set in like the time of the Aztecs. So I'm sure there's going to be sacrificing involved. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting. There's a game called Warhaven, which looks like um, what was that Ubisoft like knights versus Vikings versus samurai game. oh yeah um looks for like honor that. for honor, for honor. Is what that's yeah. called. um so that um, looks pretty interesting yeah lots of colony sims and colony based things yeah colony based games city builders uh which i'm totally fine with i love those there's something oh, i can't remember what it is but there, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff on there, so you know, I like stuff. I like stuff. Stuff is fun. I like stuff. I like things. Um, yeah, stuff and things, things and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, but what we're gonna talk about for the rest of the time is, you know, how sometimes you know you're playing a multiplayer game and you're like, there's, you know. There's just not enough people playing this game. You or know? or sometimes like, you're playing a game and you're like, there's entirely too many people there's playing this game. There's entirely too many people playing this game. Um, there, uh, or uh, so much so you're like, hey, 1v1 me, bro. You know, let's, let's do it. <laughs> um, but, uh, but no. Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit about like, like Matt, because Chris is, been, Chris is a battlefield boy, as we've said before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, so this, this yeah. kind of, came up to me in my head uh because i was playing battle bit remastered one of the biggest things they say about it like um one of the big advertisements for it is that it's you know 254 people on a map which is awesome like that's that's super cool that a they can support that at least for now and b um it feels like a really big battle Mm -hmm. um however in, in in concept, that's how it feels. In actuality, I feel like it's just kind of a cluster all the time. Like, it's just, like, it's just pure always chaos. too many people. It's always too many people. Like, you 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 die super quickly because, like, because there's someone looking everywhere all the time. Um, and we, I, I played a couple games that was 127 versus 127 and kind of got to the point where I was like, I think there's, I think there's just too many people. Mm-hmm. Um, they're all bunched up and you were just kind of like running from, from objective to objective. Um, which I mean, battlefield, you can kind of do that too, but, mm-hmm. um, yeah, with this, it felt a little more pronounced. Uh, and then I tried it with the, the 64 versus 64 version. It felt a lot better. So I guess what I was trying to figure out, like, is, is there a way to make that 127 versus 127 feel better? Is it making the, the maps bigger, even, even bigger? Or is it is it something else? Well, so here's so one of the things I always think about is now are these 
127 real people. Like it's all. Yes. It's no bonds. Mm. So that's kind of the balance that I appreciate with it. I always think about, you remember uh, Battlefield or Battlefront? Star Wars Battlefront? Yeah, that would also have bots with you. Yeah, where there's like, oh, there's like bots running around that are just kind of like cannon fodder. But then there's also like real people. So it's kind of like, because it's like, I think whenever it's whenever it gets down to like 127 people versus 127 people, right? The that's like 127 like gamers accurately shooting at everybody across the way. You need a few stormtroopers, you know. Right. You need some people to be like, oh, "I got a bot," and you know, shooting it. Pew, 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 pew. And it's like it's not really hitting things, or like they're not doing as much. Um, but that kind of like gives number one. I think it gives you as a player a little bit more like, yeah, I get it. It's like, I'm in a conflict and I'm, I'm great. I'm the best woohoo kind of thing. Um, but also it like kind of that, that gameplay loop that like that circle of that, like gameplay loop is a little bit wider, you know, because I think that's what you're talking about is you have, that's a really tight gameplay loop where it's like spawn, shoot someone, die, spawn, shoot someone, die spawn right shoot someone die and that's like real tight but like if he's like spawn oh there's a group shoot 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 hide shoot run through this thing see this guy pow oh i got a real person run through oh someone shot me that's a that's like a more time of playing versus sitting there waiting to respawn right no yeah that makes sense to me um yeah and i i did like that um that it, it and it made it a little bit more accessible, um, right. to to people that you know might not play all the time. Um, there, there is in Call of Duty. There's a there's a mode right now called Invasion. There's two types. There's Ground War, which is like ba- uh, Battlefield, where it's like yeah, you just you know it's, it's people people shooting people other sides, blah blah blah, taking points, all that kind of stuff. But then there's also one called Invasion, which is that that it's that there's like bot people in it, too. So the only problem with it is then people use like snipers the whole time. They just sit at other ends of the map and they just like take out people from far away. I mean, I do that anyways. But uh, well, yeah. Um, And then, I mean, did you ever play Planet Side 2? No, I never played Planet Side 2. So Planet Side 2 was very similar um but uh, but also very huge scale and the way they kind of did it was that they would instead of having like massive battles they would have slightly smaller battles um to take over regions right and then you would move into another region kind of thing so it was like a lot like you could see a map of these battles happening you could join one of those battles and like Mm. yeah i don't know it was kind of it was kind of a cool way to do it too it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, this is from 2012. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty this. old. I remember yeah. this. I remember this game. I remember them being like, "It's an open world MMO first person shooter," and then they were like, "No, it's not. Never mind. No, it's not. It's something different." So people were upset by that, but seems seems fun. Um, yeah. But then there's like, so do you like? Do you think that? What's the per- what's the perfect size then? Like how many people versus how many I, people? I don't know. I mean, re- just as of recently, I think I enjoyed that sixty-four versus sixty-four the most, mm-hmm. um, because and granted the maps were slightly smaller, um, but like you could actually have a front, and like it wasn't just like bouncing back and forth between like um, points. Like you okay. could actually like take a place and then hold it if you wanted right. to. Okay. Instead of it just or at being, least try to hold it. Yeah. Instead of just like running from one to another. Yeah. Running. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Um the <laughs> but, I think um okay, so sixty four versus sixty four. Or like, like or in that in that area. That's like back whenever we played Battlefield in like nineteen forty two. I feel like I feel like three was thirty two versus thirty two most of the time. I think I think so. I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. I have to look it up. But the um. But I like that. I'm the opposite of you. 
I like smaller. Like yeah. one of the one of my favorite things in Call of Duty to play is gunfight with my brother, which is just two v two or gun game. No gunfight. It's different. Uh, oh, okay. Gun gun game is where you have like that's like where it's free for all. So you have like eight people, and every time you get a kill, the gun goes up like a degree of being better or different. Right. Depends on right. what what your thing. My no gun gun fight is where it's first to six rounds. It's a small map. It's 2v2. Uh, and you're trying to either kill the other two guys or capture the flag in the middle uh, after enough time goes by. Um, but every round you have a new gu- Or every two rounds you have a new gun, new set of guns that you start with. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like... Like the first round will be pistols, and then you and you you guys fight each other, and then after that, then it's like, oh, it's then a shotgun and a sniper, and you have to figure out how to do that. Um, but it's good; it keeps you on your toes, but also it works on your communication with your partner, which is very mm-hmm. good. Sometimes, so me and Bradley are very good at it because we have good comms. Yeah, <sighs> um, it, it it was thirty two to first thirty two. It was thirty two oh. versus thirty two. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Gray says gunfight is epic. Yes, it is. It is it is really fun. It's like one of those things where you if you watch it, it can like it can go either way so quickly. Like I don't think I've ever played in one where I'm just like completely owning anyone. Aside right. from whenever at the end of our like mongoose omelet nights, whenever we're like, okay, we're gonna warm down just by playing each other in either free for all or gunfight. And mm-hmm. I win every round. <laughs> oh yeah. You know I, I I it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm I'm pretty good at that mode. Uh, again, I like the like the 1v1, 2v2. I like smaller conflicts. Um just because I feel like I can be a little bit I could be a little bit more tactical. Whenever it's larger ones, it's the same thing that happens to you. I feel like I'm always trying to be tactical and then somebody just shoots me in the side of the head and I'm and I'm dead, you know? Where I'm mm. like, "Oh, I'm thinking about this direction, but then I get a uh, Jurassic Parked by other raptors on the other sides of me." <laughs> you know i'm yep. like i hate when that happens clever no, i uh i uh i don't know i i just like that like it can be a little bit more strategic about it and like if you have a good group you can really take over the entire game mm. um which is a lot of fun what was the last i remember we used to play battlefield was it that one that was like cops versus criminals I think that's the last um, one we played that was like we had a bunch of people all playing it all. At we one time. we played three, four, and then what was that one? Called? Hardline. Hardline, yeah. Hardline was pretty good, and then um, we had a lot of people that played one. We did for a time. For a time, yeah. I feel like that didn't last very long, though. I think we no. started that and we were like, great, and then we just kind of. Yeah, I mean, I still yeah. happen to like I occasionally reinstall Battlefield Four. And it's oh, still yeah. like alive and kicking. Nice. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I apologize. I'm boring you. I'm boring no, you. I'm just not breathing enough. It's, okay, I'm it's not fine. getting I'm boring. oxygen I'm boring. to my brain holes. Um, I'm, I'm preventing oxygen going to your brain hole with my boring, boring talk. So with uh, so <laughs> what makes something like this larger battle game right? This works. This one works well, right? Battle Bit Remastered. Do right. you think it works well? What- I do. Yeah, and like I'm excited to see what else they're going to add to it. Right now, there's not like music. It just has like it, they need like a sound designer slash. Uh, like it's a just you go in. It's just. Yeah, um, the, I will say the uh, when you headshot someone, there's a really nice splat sound. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. So what's the difference between that and like a you know Battlefield 2042 or whatever? The most yeah, I, I mean, I haven't played. I, I only played a little bit of the most recent one. And like it kind of like, I don't know, like it was. Is it the graphics? Like, do you think that there's too much? I think about this all the time. I don't Be- think it's the graphics. I mean, I think the graphics are the reason why. Like the game is pretty. Like that game is pretty. Uh, Battlefield twenty forty two or whatever the yeah. hell the new one is. Very beautiful game, but I think that got in the way of the gameplay loop because they were like, "Oh, well, it's the same gameplay loop, just you know, like for, for the most part." And um, 
Whereas this kind of like takes the old battlefield formula and just adds to it. So like one of the things is that uh, if you reload in Battle Bit Remastered, um, you just take your clip out and you have that clip still, but mm-hmm. it's not full. Oh, okay, interesting. So then, so then you actually have to hit a button to have the, the clips combined. Interesting. If you want to, so like like things like that are like a little bit more realistic. Um, <laughs> um, in this, uh, anyone can revive people. Man, I'm so boring. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's not you. It's not I you. Know. I'm just. I know. I'm just I know. I'm, just, I'm messing. I had you. to run up uh, the stairs earlier, Chris. <laughs> I had to run. I had to earlier. run. <laughs> my running shoes are coming to i bought some nike running shoes that are coming Ooh, oh, fucking, fancy lad i love nike so much yeah i bought um, my brother-in-law's turned me into a shoe guy and i hate it oh wow because they're oh. so expensive but they look so they are cool expensive. um but yeah so like the uh like anyone can revive anyone but like not everyone can be can heal but it's nice that like anyone can get picked up by anyone that is pretty nice because yeah it's, it's always i know in battle battle field and battlefront it's always kind of annoying to be like medic you just run around if you're playing a medic who's here medic medic see all the little red crosses everywhere that you have to yeah go. yeah so like not everyone has to do that anyone can at least right now pick pick everyone up um which is nice um so i think that's kind of a cool uh thing and it make and like you know it kind of makes sense like in theory everyone in battle is going to have some sort of like like i assume anyone can kind of stabilize anyone kind of thing mm-hmm. or at least to some level to some level do right you think but that, like yeah do you think that there's like because i've noticed there tends to be this not i don't want to call it a trend because it's probably not right but like there's this like i'm gonna call it that anyway there's this trend of like d master in games um or like the the graphics not being the focus you know uh, yeah, I, I, I think noticed, I think some yeah. people are just like focusing on the core gameplay loop and making yeah. sure that's great. Like, yeah, this game has tons of attachments for every gun. There's tons of guns. There's tons of upgrades. There's tons of like like little modifications you can make that like Battlefield doesn't have. Yeah. And people want that. It's great. It's fun. And there's like um, and there's there's stuff where it's like fans are doing like there's this Bloodborne demake is what they're calling it. Yeah, it's called Bloodborne PSX, where they like took out all of the they like it. Basically, it's like if Bloodborne came out on the PlayStation One, it would have looked like this. And yeah, like I this. mean that's basically what um, Salt of Salt and Sanctuary was. Yeah, it was like Dark Souls, but two D pulled down. There's a lot of uh, horror indie horror games that kind of use the I call it the I call it like the '90s VHS style, where it's like kind of grainy. And it's like yeah. a little pixely, um, but it's like it's more it's scary. It's scarier. You don't need something to be clear. It's things that aren't clear are more scary. So, yeah. Um, well, but it, yeah. And and the other the other thing about this game was that it was only made by four people. Perfect. Yeah. On Roblox. Perfect. Yeah. You know? Well, it was it was Unity 3. But, Unity but, 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. You know, but that's but that's also like that's impressive, you know? Yeah. Whenever you focus on, you choose something to focus on, and you make it good, and then surprise, people like it. They'll pay fifteen dollars for it or whatever, whatever it is. Yep. Um, for it. But yeah, no, I, I do see your your point though. Of like, there, there does seem to be a lot more, um, people taking a genre that might have gotten a little bit bloated, and mm-hmm. uh, kind of taking it back to its roots. I mean, that's what Stardew Valley essentially did, and just yeah. really perfected it. Just ease. It's like it's just make the make the game part good. Don't worry about all the other stuff, and then it'll be fine. Like right now on Steam, because this, like right now, it's on the tops. It's like Battlebit Remastered is the second top seller on their list of stuff right now. For I don't know what the date range is though. Probably this week. But you know, that's very cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, the only thing that's <laughs> higher than it is CS:GO, which is free. It's free, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, I don't know. It's pretty good. It's beating out Apex Legends, which is also free. And Six Days in Fallujah, whatever that is. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Stellaris is on there. The Hunter, Call of the Wild. Hunting game. Street Fighter Six, which is supposed to be pretty good. But anyway, that's very cool. Um, the Do... I don't know. Uh-huh. I'm trying to uh-huh. think about what what else to ask about this. So is is can you think of another game that has that level of? I guess Battlefield's whole thing has always been we have the most people. Yeah, and like once it's it it seems like at least this game has found that there is a limit to that. Yeah, um, okay. that the bigger isn't always better. Um. Yeah, I think there might be a sweet spot. But uh, yeah, I mean, it could just be that um, it's just not implemented correctly. I mean, there also was kind of like a a race of of battle royales to do like the most. And then they kind of scaled back again, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, what? There is, I think it was, PUBG was like 100 people. Yeah. And then someone, I think someone did one that was bigger. Well, I mean. And And then Warzone was smaller. Warzone was smaller. Now it's 150 is, right. I think, the standard. Um, I think Fortnite's still 100, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm always used to just being in the top, in the top, I'm just in so the good. top of it. So I don't know what the uh, lower levels are like. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let's play a lot of Hunkai Star Rail. Uh, but the uh, Hunkai Star Rail. Hunkai Star Rail. Hunkai Star Rail is great. Uh, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's just like too sometimes too many people is too much, and then you also have to worry about like server problems and people disconnecting and all this other stuff. So, I say keep it keep it tight, keep it simple, stupid. K- kiss, baby, kiss. That was the funniest part. We had photographers whenever we got engaged, and we would like they would like start tell us to go somewhere and do poses, but because there were fountains around, it was really loud. So they'd be like they'd be telling us to do stuff, and they'd be like. Now kiss, kiss. <laughs> like they'd be shouting it at us from across the room. So now we just go to just like no kiss, fight, 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 kiss. Uh, um, now kiss, now kiss, now kiss. <laughs> yes. Um, but great. So what's the so what was the question? Chris is bigger is bigger better. Sometimes <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, I think it is to a certain point. Okay. Um, but after a bit, it is not. You lukewarm son of a bitch. Uh, that's why they call me lukewarm Chris. <laughs> if your name was Luke, me. it would be a better nickname. That name nickname it would have been lukewarm, but you know, instead it's Chris. So just add a whole other <laughs> word on there. Um, I th- I say I say no. I don't think that. I think too many people is too much. Like that's. Right. If I haven't played Devil's Advocate. So what you're saying is. You're not going to play this game with me. <laughs> I'm not going to because I don't want to spend the money on it because I'm not going to. It's play only fifteen dollars. It I know, but I'm not going to play it enough to like be. You know when I would play it with me when you ask me to play it, and then that's about it. I'm not going to play it any other time. So I have two. Hey, Dan, many... do you want to play this game? I don't. Um, <laughs> um, no, because I've also got I've got Fortnite. I've got like the Call of Duty stuff. As my like shooter things, and I'm like, that's that's as much as I can handle right now. I've got so many other things to think about. Yeah, just like, you got, and plus you got to save your money for that. Uh, no, that's the other thing. Uh, well, I already business. well, I don't have any money because I bought a shiny piece of jewelry. So, mm-hmm. boom, mm-hmm. that's part of it. Uh, which I'm not complaining about. She deserves it. She's great, and I love her so much. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But the uh, but I'm so poor. Uh, <laughs> I did see there's this game called Only Up, which is kind of like uh, always blue. No, it's if you look at <laughs> it's like um um it's like a oh, what's what's the uh oh shit the one where you uh, it, getting over it. It's like getting ah. over it, but it's third person, and you're like parkouring up a bunch of different things. I saw a bunch of streamers playing that. 
recently. Oh, it's like it's like it's like fancy that. Yeah. But apparently it's buggy as hell. But a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh a lot of streamers and stuff are playing it right now. I mean, yeah, it looks cool. It looks pretty, but I imagine it's probably not the fairest thing at all. But yeah, it's one of those things where you could fall off and lose an hour of progress. Yeah. So that's one of the, <laughs> the review. This is how your parents tell you how they got to school back in their day. <laughs> There's a lot of reviews that say, like uh, this one from Rice. Uh, it says, one, buy game. Two, make it halfway in 40 minutes. Three, take 20 minute toilet break. Four, fall all the way d- down straight away. Five, refund. 10 out of 10. Jesus. <laughs> he has exactly one hour on record. Awesome. Yep. That's about, that's about it. Oh, um, this one says, from McLovin, says he loves big booty Latinas. That's his review. Informative informative very very informative uh, thank this, you McLevin. this is a positive review that says i hate this game uh, <laughs> uh but yeah so that's another thing there's a lot of there's a lot of indie stuff out there that's pretty good you don't have to spend a lot of money on games these days um to be to have fun there is there's a game I keep seeing on TikTok called Bread and Fred, which is about <laughs> two, it's two penguins. Uh, you and a friend are two penguins trying to climb a mountain. It's 2D, and it's very cute. That sounds awesome. It's like it's like ice climbers where one of you has to grab onto stuff and then. Oh, that's swing. very cute. It is adorable looking. Grab your best bud for helping this new co-op. <laughs> Shit. We what? could be those best buds. So I think it's a, it's only split screen though. I don't think it's a. Shit. So we couldn't be those best. Oh, buds. but don't they have that thing with uh, Steam where you can? I don't know. I don't know. You just don't want to buy the game. It's fine. I don't want to spend any money right now. Listen, that's fine. I don't want to spend any money. I but I have it. spent a lot of money. Um, but uh, but we've answered the questions. We've done all the things. Uh, Gray. Now asks, it's time to play Battle Bit Remastered. <laughs> Uh, okay. Now it's time to play some games. Uh, Gray Man says you guys play Sons of the Forest. No, no. I have a complicated relationship with uh, crafting games. Hmm. Where I don't know. I'm not into them as much as I used to be. You know. I can Yeah. I. I mean. I only. Those are. Those are games I only play with other people. Yeah. But. So it's like, and no one ever wants to play it at the time. You know how sometimes you want to play a game and no one's around to play the game at the time whenever you want to play the game because we're adults and we have like different schedules and stuff. Uh huh. That's kind of the problem I have where it's like, it's like a Saturday morning and I'm up early and I'm like, hey, anybody want to play this game with me? And no one's Crickets. awake because like, uh, yeah, because like, I was up all night playing because <laughs> you were up all night playing games. So, um, but uh but you know what we're gonna end we're gonna let's go to the close of the podcast portion of this so then we could just shoot the breeze um but the the podcast and portion, by shooting the breeze you mean killing demons killing demons i would appreciate that if you could help me finish out the third uh chapter sure um and then then i'll be like then i'll be able to do all the other side quests and stuff i did take down uh a one of those fortress things by myself the other day. Nice. And I was like, nice. I did it because it's like two levels above you is what it's slated as. So I was like, nice. Nice. Roking it up. Um, duh. I've gotten all the uh, the shrines of mommy. You did? You found every yeah. single one? Every single one? There's a lot of them. I did look there's, at a map and I was like, there's, there's like a, a lot of oh, I think over 100. Jesus. Yes, but have it's you fine. found all the Korok seeds, Chris? No. Do it. Call they me don't upgrade my that. stats. I don't even have Tears of the Kingdom yet. What? <laughs> my weapon's breaking all the time really left a sour taste in my mouth. You are such a little butt. <laughs> <laughs> that is, if that's the thing that's making you not buy it, it's like that is like. No, the, I mean, it's also that I'm playing a lot of Diablo 4. That's where you play a lot of Diablo And 4. I guess a lot of Battle Bit Remastered now, too. <laughs> 
I, all right. You know who did? I, Ian just bought that too. <laughs> I just saw. Yeah, I did see him and Marianne playing it, which was yep. which was nice. Maybe I'll um, get to play with them. That'd be so much fun. That'd be fun. Um, but uh, here's where the things we're gonna do. Uh, Chris, do you have any closing thoughts about big big old battle battley bullet boy games? I'm glad that I have one to play again. Nice. Um, and I don't have any thoughts. Just it's all empty up here. Um, I'm just an echo chamber of. All you can think about is your love for Hannah. That's true. That um, and movie quotes. That's all. Ooh, that's, I'm and, just, and your opinions on movies. But this is true. not. This is not a movie podcast. podcast. Um, the, Speaking of, we still need to watch. We still need to. That. We still need to watch and talk about um, the original Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, well, uh, the, hey, are you? Uh, are you done? Sco- uh, well, is school out? There? Yes, school is out here. So, so you're in summer mode. Summer mode, Dan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We so have a little more time. A little more time, but it's still right. like I still have so much stuff to do. Oh yeah, I, I know. Uh, yeah. But it's uh, but I got, I got a little more time for stuff. Okay. Um. So, what's up? Hit yeah. me up. Give me send me like, well, what's happening? Everybody, just send me a message. Be like, Dan, what's happening? And I'll be what's like, going on? What's going on? What's going on? Or ooh wee, what's up with that? What's <laughs> up with that? Um, uh, so all the things. If you're listening to this on a streaming or a podcast listener, um, uh, go and do me a favor. Go to the like main page of it. There's gonna be a place where it says leave a review or rate this Ooh. podcast um, and then go to like the most stars you can and just be like, boop, and then like <laughs> leave a review and just be like, I like these, I like these, these, I like dumb, these goobers. I like these goobers. They're great. They're fun. They talk about video games and beer and movies and way more than and I beer. also like video games and beer. I too like these things. Boy, the perfect podcast for me. Five stars. Um, so please go do that. It does help uh, to get more people to listen to the podcast. Um, you can tell your friends to watch us on the interwebs here every other week, basically. Um, uh, and go to our discord bit.ly slash disco brew, um, to see what's up. Uh, and like all of the dad jokes and all of the like fun stuff that we we don't do mom jokes. We only do dad jokes. I know it's pretty sexist of us, so we'll have to. Uh, it's so pretty sexy of us. Yep. It's uh. So. <laughs> that's fine. I guess that was a funny one. People like that. Um, but the uh, but yeah, and then I'm of so course, glad that laugh tracks are less of a thing. Also, sorry. That's true. What about this? <laughs> Any more bia tracks? Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, do all those things. Remember to follow. Uh, follow, like, and subscribe. Um, to smash that podcast. like button. Smash that like button. Uh, and yeah, thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to end the podcast portion of this podcast by saying what we say when we always end. Uh, Allison couldn't be here. It's Fee's birthday. So that's why Allison's not here tonight. Also, I never said that before. But happy birthday, Fee. Um, he's, you're a real one. Um, and you are, you are not fake. You are not. <laughs> you are not imaginary. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, we're going to end the podcast the way we always end the podcast, which is by saying good night. Good night, everybody. And-